Hello everybody and a good day to you all today. I'm talking about Legends of Tomorrow, season number three, episode number six, Helen Hunt. This episode was directed by David Geddes. And here we had the team, the Legends, had to go back in time to, um, to, to, to Hollywood. I'm not sure exactly what year it was. And so they had to, they had to stop at another anomaly. And this time is Helena of Troy. Somehow she got, she got stuck in Hollywood. She got stuck in this time in Hollywood. And now she's an actress. And so now they gotta fix this and set things right so, so time won't get all out of balance, everything won't go crazy wacko. And then they also had to go up against Damien Dark because he wants them to go crazy and wacko for reasons I don't know, but he wants things to, th things to stay the same and they're trying to fix it so they have a, little, a confrontation. And then you have a whole Freaky Friday thing, a Freaky Friday thing going on with Dr. Martin Stein and Jefferson. See, Jefferson wants to free Martin Stein of the Firestorm thing, so he can be Firestorm by himself, so Dr. Stein can go back home, be with his wife and his and his grand and his daughter and his grandchild. He wants to be he wants to be a grandpa now. He wants to live his life in peace. That's all he wants to do. And so Jefferson wants that for him. And so they're trying to they're working alongside Ray to make sure this happens. And well, an accident happened during the experiment, and instead of them instead of um, of Jefferson getting all the Firestorm powers to himself, they switch bodies. And now you have you have um, Jefferson acting like Dr. Well, I mean, not Dr. 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 Stein, and Dr. Stein acting like Jefferson. And it's, it's, it's a silly. It's a silly, funny, fun stuff in watching that. And then you had the whole thing with um, Helen of Troy, and she's pretty much, um, she, she, don't, she, she, she has to go back to where she would have belonged. She knows that. But she doesn't want to go back because where she was at, it started a war that she did. That she, um, it started a war. So now she says, I don't want to go back to a place where I'm locked up for, uh, forever and, and I have, have men fighting over me for the rest of my life. I don't want that. I thought you would be the heroes. That would suck. And, but, and so instead of like, she left one place where a war got started because of her. And she, then she comes to, uh, in Hollywood and now another war is starting all because of her. Because she's so beautiful that men just can't control themselves around her. And so they start beating the crap out of one another to, to prove their f favor for her. It's just insane. And then the interesting part of this episode is you see, you're seeing somebody who grew up in an era where women are pretty much oppressed, and then she's seeing all these women. She's seeing um, she's seeing Sarah, she's seeing Amaya, she's seeing Zara, kicking butt and fighting and strong and independent and independent. And she even got you even got um, Sarah, who's the captain of the ship, and she's in charge. And, and, people, and men, grown men, listen to her f for advice and, and and orders. And it is what is going on? I want that too. <laughs> I want to be strong and self-reliant and independent. And you see that going on. And you, uh, and you also find out a little bit more about one of the bad guys, um, Kosa. Kosa, I think that's her name. She's played by Tracy um, Ifitcher. I hope I said her name and last name right. But anyway, she also a, a totem bearer too. Now, I didn't know that at first because she, she's not wearing one. Turns out she, the totem and her bonded together permanently. Now, I don't know how that happened. Did she eat it? She put it in her butt. I mean, where, where did the totem go so they could bond with her? Did she uh, paint it inside of her chest? Like, how did that happen for sure? But whatever. she got water powers down. She could turn the water and stuff. I still don't think she's much, she much, much of a threat, though, really. I mean, I mean, I see she had control over water. She could command it like a water bearer, like a, a water bender or something like that. And that would have been awesome. And she had, she could she, she carry around water. She could make it come at, come at you like... Like a form of animals or something like that, or shards and like, turn into weapons, but she just turns into a puddle. I, I don't. I mean, she can fight and she's strong, yes, but the whole turn into a puddle thing doesn't does not intimidate me at all. Which they did, which they did more with her with her powers, to make it seem like she's more of a threat, but she doesn't seem like a threat to me. So I don't understand why that she's such a bad guy. Like, like, like uh, I mean, Damian Dark, I get. He has powers. He has. Whole telekinesis thing, and then you even have this daughter, um, Eleanor Dark, who's played by Courtney Ford, and she, her power she got the whole magic witch thing. Get that too. But they also have something weird going on. Like it, like Damon and his daughter Eleanor have a weird relationship. Now I don't know if it's incest or not. I don't know what it is, but the way they re respond to one another was what. Made me feel very uncomfortable to look at. Like, oh. Because the thing is, though, he introduced to her as the love of his life. Fine, that's sweet, okay. But the way she responded to that comment, that compliment, like, like was kind of odd to me. Like, mm. Either who, that whole family's messed up, and they're taking on the legends, and they're trying to stop them, and also set the whole timeline right. 
Because um, you have um, Doc Martin. And the thing is, though, even though they got that fight and stuff going on with them, you have Doc Martin Stein. He has his own little battle going on, trying to help out um, Hedy Lamar, who's played by um, 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 Sheila Keller, Mass Messingham, Sheila, mm, Talia. I don't know. I'm not good with names. But she, she plays um, Hedy Lamar. And he's trying to help her become an actress that's supposed to be because she's not, an actress, not she's not doing what she's supposed to do. Time the, the whole timeline would get off thrown off again. So he has his own little side mission going on. And the thing is though, he's helping her, but not as himself. He's helping her as Jackson. I thought Martin started helping her, helping her as Jackson because she not only does he he, he likes her work. He's he, she's also his past. His wife and them had a past. His wife chose John Carl Bad Dam, and he chose Hayden Lamar because he, he knew for sure he would never see her. Ever in his lifetime, so now he finally got the opportunity to meet her and be with her, but he's not himself. He's somebody else. Interesting. So overall, great episode. Really did enjoy it a whole lot. The fight scene, the action sequences, like that, always great. Um, special effects for a TV show. Actually, I think it's pretty well. I've done quite well for all the CW shows. I think this might be the best one I think so far when they show them. And this time they had a twist on the whole fire zone situation that I really did enjoy. It was very interesting. So like I said, overall, a great episode. We did enjoy the whole lot. Leave your comments down below. And the ending. I don't want to see what that is. But I enjoy that ending so much. Oh. Um, it makes sense, though. It makes sense because Justin Lee's coming out and everything else. So I, I, I get it. So I, I, I did enjoy I, I enjoyed a little wink and nod to that. Good job on that point. So... Leave comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Legends of Tomorrow. And if you haven't been watching this, so check it out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. I don't know anything. Check it out for yourself. Hopefully when you watch it, you will enjoy it and have fun watching it too. So that's pretty much all I got to say about that. So give my channel the big old like, the thumbs up. Mm, boom. And subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it like I always say in my dreams and in real life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.